Hello everybody and welcome. Today is car wash day. Yeah, I promised my wife that I'd wash her 2020 Model Y. And as you can see, it's rained for two days here. It's 45 degrees, so I'm going to wash it by hand without the aid of the foam cannon or the pressure washer, the old-fashioned way. But don't feel bad because this car has 100% clear Expel wrap on it. I won't be able to scratch the paint if I wanted to. Yeah, to wash the car the old fashioned way, you put water in a bucket. I do have a screen in the bottom of it, which uh, keeps any grit on the bottom to a minimum. And uh, the 2020 Model Y of my wife's is here. It's not too bad, but it's uh, not good. I've got the two dogs out here with me. They love car rides, as you know. Hank and Luna, let's see what they're doing. You guys doing all right in there? All right. Well, they love being in the car. The car is running dog mode, so it's uh, nice and toasty. It's 46 degrees here. So first thing, uh, like any old-fashioned car wash, I'm going to go ahead and rinse it down with a hose. Yeah, the water here is uh, hard, but I'll get all of it off before it has a chance to dry. Again, this has a ceramic coating over the top of the Expel clear and shiny uh, wrap on it. And uh, that keeps uh, the full uh, thing from being scratched at any time. So I'm going to get to it here. It's getting cold. It's 46 degrees. And I don't think it's going to get any warmer. Yeah, this is the old way of washing cars. None of that foam cannon stuff today. Get all the heavy stuff off before I rub it down with uh, soap water out of the pail. Martian wheels held up very well. Big stuff shows up down here on the bottom, so you want to make sure you wash that really well. All right, well, let's get to the wash job. This water is not very warm. And I just, uh, let me go to wide angle here if I don't wreck up the camera. There we go. And uh, we'll just get it a good rinse down here and a wash. Get off all the big stuff. And remember, it's... Uh, fully expel coated so it's not going to hurt anything here except my hand which is really cold anyway let me get over this and rinse this off and uh, we'll take it in the garage and uh, dry it out and detail the car out today we'll get to it here can you tell which side i washed yeah you can it gets all that uh, grime off of it and the window uh, now uh, beads up water you can even uh, look a little bit here because I've done this side uh, with the water and that's uh, the ceramic coating, which I'll renew in this uh, job today. Let's uh, get to it. Everything's washed and uh, now I'll rinse it off good. Yeah, all cars uh, pick up a, a grime to them from uh, the road. Combination of uh, the tires from the vehicles uh, all the emissions from fossil fuel vehicles. And it just kind of overall dulls the uh, finish of your vehicle, whether it be electric or uh, uh, fossil fuel powered. And uh, just get all this off and then uh, finish the uh, wheels on the other side. And uh, we're good to go. I'll take it inside and uh, finish the detailing work. Yeah, the wheels are now washed. Those are the hardest part, especially when your hands are really cold. We'll get it rinsed off, take it inside. All washed now and rinsed. As you can see, the uh, ceramic coating is still alive. I'll renew it today, and I haven't done that for a while. But it uh, looks pretty good, all things considered. All right, let's get it dried off and uh, detailed out. 
In my Tesla, I have what's called dog mode. You can set the internal temperature of the car, keeping the animals inside at a nice temperature. Also, uh, you can uh, keep it uh, in a nice temperature if it's full of groceries. So we're gonna go ahead and back it into pod bay one. Yep, just like on 2001 Space Odyssey. And uh, we're going to complete the work inside today where it's uh, temperature controlled. It is 65 instead of 46. All right, doors shut. Now, uh, next order of business. As you know, the pups love to be in the garage. Come on, let's go. There's Luna and there's Hank. They hang out with me here. All right, first order of business is uh, get all this water off and how we do that, we use a uh, air um, a blower uh, for the lawn. All right, so here's the bad boy. I use, uh, I have an electric string trimmer and the battery runs that and uh, the blower. So let's blow this off. <laughs> Yeah, I'd say the uh, 2020 Model Y looks pretty dang good. Look at that. That's what uh, full Expel wrap looks like in clear. All right, well, I'm going to uh, roll the uh, towel up here and uh, wait until uh, it's time to do inside. But I think before that, we're going to put the ceramic boost on the outside. When I got the car wrapped at AP3 in Atlanta, actually, uh, they're in Alpharetta, Georgia, uh, they put uh, Expel on it, and I bought a bottle of uh, Expel Boost for the ceramic coating. So that'll bring it uh, to a state it like it was brand new. All right, the Expel Ceramic Boost coating is on. Let me just show you something. Watch. Yeah, try that with your coating. There's poor Luna. <laughs> All right, well, let's uh, see how this thing turned out so far. This has uh, been washed and ceramic coated boosting over uh, clear Expel. It's very slick. As you can see, it's pretty shiny now. Looks uh, very much like when I uh, took delivery, or in this case, when my wife took delivery, I was out of town. Looks pretty darn good. Okay, I'm going to take the wet big beach towel now that I dried off and go inside and wipe down everything inside. Yeah, here's the uh, Model 3 Performance. As you can see, it uh, hasn't been washed for a while. And yes, it does have clear Expel and ceramic on it. So if you uh, do this to it, yeah, I'm actually doing that. You uh, won't hurt a thing. As soon as that expel warms up a little bit, all those scratches disappear. All right, time to do the inside of the 2020 Model Y. Part of uh, washing any car, of course, is uh, you gotta dry out the uh, seal area. As you can see from the picture here, water gets all the way up to the door seal and it sits there and collects dust, looks nasty. So I always take my towel that I dry off the car and dry out the seal area. And then it uh, looks real nice. And then I wipe under the door and all around. Yeah, and my buddy Hank, right Hank? You're helping, making sure I don't miss anything. And last but not least, you always want to clean the inside of the frunk. At the same time uh, you dry it out, you get to clean it. And uh, it's got a seal here around the actual frunk, so there's no water in here. However, uh, it mates up with this, 
but everything else can have water in it, which is fine. But when you're done washing it, it'll look excellent. All right, the frunk is all dry. It's all clean as a whistle. Now on to the next things. And don't forget to clean out the charging door. All you do is touch it and close it. And to open it, you push on it and then dry it out as necessary. Now that the car is clean, let's uh, doll it up a little bit here. I bought some of these uh, lights for the puddles and uh, in the well of the car. And uh, we also have some air filters to change. This way my wife's car will be fully updated. Apparently I've got three sets of uh, Tesla uh, logo lights and uh, one is spare. I'm not sure why I ordered it, but maybe for one of the other cars. And then these are uh, well lights. These go in the foot well lamp in the front. So we'll get all this stuff installed. All right, down here on the ground. Now, uh, these car wiener, not winner, <laughs> lights. Uh, this is the left one. And uh, this is the right one, okay? So the left one goes in the driver door um, and the right one goes in the passenger door. So let's see what's involved. Comes with a nice little screwdriver here. I'll bash my head on the door. There we go. I'm gonna set the camera down looking straight up and uh, you can probably see the process, I hope. Um, so there's a little a uh, little cutout right here on this side and uh, I'm going to use their provided screwdriver and you just pry it right out like that and then uh, you don't have a whole lot of uh, extra wire but uh, there's a little push down right here on the top you push it down and the uh, connector pops out now one thing you're going to hear is when I did that, the air conditioning stopped that was running because the door was open and the window, uh, let's see, did it go up or down? The window went up. I'm not sure why, but I think it has to do with the circuit. So the driver would be the left and uh, we have this little connector which mates up with the connector in the car. And we plug that in. And we'll make sure that uh, the light is, yep, that is correct. So you want to make sure that it's plugged in. Do not pull on this wire, otherwise you'll damage the car. Carefully tuck it in. Rotate this in uh, the right thing so when you open the door, you can see it. And it just snaps right back in. And that's as difficult as it is. All right, let's go do the opposite side. This is the passenger side now. Let's get down on the ground. Oh. Try to stay out of the water. And uh, I'll put you down here and you can watch me do it. It's pretty simple. Okay, well, I think that's about right. Take the screwdriver, stick it under the little cutout here, pry down. The light comes out. And remember, it's not a lot of wire here, so you be very careful. And you don't want to let it go or it'll go back up. So right here, you uh, push in and then just pull it out, okay? Take your replacement, carefully hold it, get it squared away, and click it into place, okay? And uh, you want to tuck it in there. You want to make sure the logo is turned the correct way. And uh, that's about right. And just snap it in there. And that's all that's to it. All right, let's get the uh, back uh, passenger doors done. All right, puddle lights are updated. Open it up. And what do you get? Tesla. It's a lot better. Uh, now this light would shine absolutely perfect except for this uh, epoxy floor kind of makes it look dorky. Anyway, and I go around. 
Every light is the same. If you turn it properly, whoever's in it gets to see the logo here. And uh, it's a lot brighter than the stock light. So there you go. All right, on to the next thing. And this involves uh, pulling the air filters out. In a 2020 Model Y, you have to do the air filter under the console. So I'm going to get to that. I'm not going to show you the whole process, but I'll show you when I get all done. In the 2020 Model Y, I've got to remove this panel and then up on top there where the light was. And then uh, the air filter is uh, right in here. All right, so I don't mean to uh, trash Abstract Ocean, but these were $49 for a set. And uh, they're supposed to be really good. They're carbon activated and they're supposed to be really great. But I got news for you, you can still smell skunk through them. Being out here in the country, uh, it's not uncommon to have a skunk get run over and my wife complained. I replaced the stock ones after a better part of two years, and they started deteriorating. So I ended up buying uh, two new stock ones for $17 a piece. The set of uh, Abstract Ocean ones here were $49. So I don't think it's as good a value, and they certainly don't work as well. While the carbon may do something, it uh, doesn't get rid of all the smells. So my wife suggested we uh, get them changed again, and so I'll put the stock ones back in. Here's the stock Tesla ones, and uh, if you look closely here, uh, they're made in Germany. Yeah, it's upside down, but you get the idea. Uh, these are the ones that come with every Tesla, and I got to tell you, driving Teslas, uh, uh, you do not miss all of the fumes and oil smells and gas fumes on the road, including skunk. These uh, work very well. They're 17 bucks a piece at Tesla, and it's well worth it. Anyway, if you look, this is the air intake side. We can kind of look at it here. And uh, this is the outbound. And if you look close, I think there's carbon in there. Not sure, but I'm not sure what the black is. Anyway, uh, let's get these installed and uh, restore the factory smell through the car. All right, the uh, new uh, factory air cleaners are in. They're nice and snug. And we can put everything back together. All right, well, it's certainly uh, not as easy as putting in a 21 or 22 Tesla where it's all up under the frunk. These are going in the garbage. Nice try, but it was a bad decision to buy these abstract ocean filters. They just don't work as well as the stock ones. Today's job is done. Yeah, it was a little pain in the butt, but I've got the filters changed. I got the uh, well lights changed. I've got the puddle lights added. And I've got the outside clean and also uh, ceramic coated or re-ceramic coated. Uh, everything is uh, ready to go. So I will say Merry Christmas to my wife, but she knows I should have been doing this before. Anyway, car is good for a while. Well, that's it. All clean inside and out and upgraded. If you like today's video, go ahead and click the like. And if you would, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll look for you in the next videos and take care.